Welcome back, everyone. Time for some more Project Zomboid. I am the Kremlin Archer, and I'm starting on the landing screen because things have changed a little bit. I was gone for a few days, and they seem to have pushed several patches. We're now at 32.11, and now it says local, solo local, slash online, instead of sandbox and such, and things have shifted around here. So when you click on this, it comes up like this. Easy peasy. Oh, they did. They made this joke. They talked about how they needed to make this joke. Easy peasy. Um, survival. Custom, which I guess is sandbox. And challenge, which is where the challenges are. So uh, they shifted that around, but this seems to be still where the save data is. So we're just going to jump right back in. I just thought you might want to see that if you hadn't seen it already. Um, kind of neat always to see the little shifts and stuff that they do. But... Uh, Especially when you haven't, when they've been pushing a lot of patches and you haven't played in a few days, it's can be kind of striking when you jump in like that. But uh, let's see. Last time we were working on getting some stuff up and running, weren't we? Yes, we did a little bit more of this. Twelve days, dirty. Oh, wait, we have a scratch or something. I think we got caught on a edge of a window. Yeah bandage it up again but it's a window scratch which is less dangerous than regular scratches I don't think we can build any doors but we'll uh I want to see pretty sure that's outside of our ability but I'm gonna bring these planks inside anyways so it's all right hopefully we can carry them all and there we go all right Bring them inside of our wall, and then we can drop them. Let's check our crafting menu here. Carpentry. Yeah, apparently we don't know how to make the other stuff yet. Like a door. That's too bad. Oh well. All right, so we'll just drop all that stuff on the ground. Worry about it later. It's only 10.30, so she's still got some time. Let's look at this, see how this is doing, how our plants are doing. Still say well watered, good. Let's grab a corpse, take it outside. I was gonna take a corpse with you when you leave. Somebody was helpfully pointing out that I was not following my own uh, rules the other day and did not take a corpse with me when I left. I apologize for that. Where are you? There you are. So let's uh, let's put some stuff away real quick. I want to go check on the burners. One of my big things that I'm curious about at the moment is, is how the burning zombies are doing. That's the full one. Almost out of places to store stuff. Put our saw away too. Nothing, nothing. Hmm, running out of places to put things, so we'll put stuff in here. Saw. Dirty rags can go in there. Baseball bat, we got alright, alright. She's hungry. What do we have to eat? Do we have anything that's prepared? We have the steak that's going bad. Pork chop that's going bad. Yeah, we'll eat the steak that's going bad. A little boredom, a little unhappiness, but nothing too bad. There we go. What's on the floor? Oh, it's plank. All right, that's planky. I forgot about planky. It was our attack, our attack uh, plank that we had for a while. Take this corpse outside with us on our way. See, I'm following my own rules. Quip. Oh, not secondary, primary. All right, let's go see if we can check on the burners. It's a little bit, a little bit of a hike, but it shouldn't be too bad. You know what we need to actually do is is continue, is mix it up. We need to go south. We need to go the south route to check on the burners this time because we went the north route last time. Because it's important to maintain a presence in various um, cells of the map in order to keep the zombies from respawning, or at least slow them down. 
So we're going to start doing it this way. Yeah, she's already getting worn out. This is the thing about doing carpentry and stuff early in the day, it just wears, those, wears them out. Alright, let's deal with this one here. This is a onesie, actually. We can probably just push her down. Yeah. Save all of our tools. Oh, nothing? Alright. Alright, I see burning zombies in front of us. I also see non-burning zombies. Eh, they're joining the bar. They're joining the burn party for the most part, except for that guy who's heading our way. Have I successfully managed to keep the fire? See, they just keep coming, man. I just want. I want. I want to get into these houses down here, but the the groups of of zombies just don't ever seem to let up. Even when I try to collect them all and bring them to the fires. <laughs> As I usually do. All right. Starting to run out of. We're gonna be running out of. Uh, running out of energy to to run soon, so we need to not push it too much. Hello, fire zombies. Please don't touch me. There we go. Now they're coming this way. Yeah, I mean they just don't let up. I just want, like I'd like to get into those houses that are right there, but the zombies just non-stop, man. Hey, you guys, come here. Join this group. Alright. Let's cut this way. We're gonna need to try and lose them here pretty soon. Or else we are going to be out of luck. All right, we're gonna go north. My plan is to go north into the field up, up by that um, empty pas pasture and lose them up there. Maybe circle around this house. Still can't go over the burned fence, huh? All right, so we go this way. Uh, that should that should help. Kill the line of sight a little bit. They won't follow me as much. Wasn't there a big pile, a big uh, group of burners that I took out into the uh, into the field up here? I feel like there was. Guess we'll go up there and take it a look, shall we? Oh, I see fire. Ah, uh, yes, that's a that apparently is an affirmative. I did take a bunch of burners up there. All right, so let's uh, let's, uh, let's not do that. Let's go somewhere else. Don't really want her to follow me all the way home. Get out of here while she's on the ground. She'll wake up and be like, "Where'd they go?" I thought he was right here. All right, cool. That works. Head back to our home for the day. I guess I should just power through. I don't know. Just just grab all my, bring a trail of burning zombies and just head into the into town. Maybe I don't know. I'm not really sure what to do with all these zombies. Think about it for a minute. Wait till she's awake in the morning, and then we'll decide what to do. Yeah, through the tree. There we go. We're almost to the point where the power and water is going to go out. That is very, very close. We 
wish we could build a door, but we don't have the we don't have the know-how yet. And our carpentry is kind of sucky. Almost no multiplayer. Sprinting! Oh! Oh god, that was second level sprinting. What is this? Huh. Oh, that's new. Dirty bandage. Let's take that off. We'll probably get away with not having that covered, actually, at this point. Eat this apple. I'm gonna have to power through all this stuff before it goes away, because it's gonna go away soon. I know it's only like four, it's only almost five o'clock, so let's just go to sleep. She'll sleep. She's an expert sleeper. Why are you stressed? Oh, your hand's infected? Great. Don't we have an, we have disinfectant somewhere, don't we? Yes. Not that that's going to be super helpful at this point. But, uh, better than nothing. Bandage, disinfect. Can I disinfect this? Disinfect rag. There we go. Bandage, sterilized rag. Yep. Got a little bit of an infection. Let's eat some food. Alright. She should be fine. Just gonna, just gonna hurt a little bit for a little while. Try to stay on top of the disinfecting. She needs to go to sleep too. She's not fully rested. Oh, I didn't actually mean for her to sleep quite as long as she did, but that's okay. Oh, level two sprinting, I love you. Will you have my babies? Little quick little sprinty babies. Alright, still feeling nervous because she has an infected hand. Hello, you two. Three. Four. Did you see me? Yeah, you saw me. I don't know where you guys came from. Oh, there's still still four of you, huh? Let's see if we can stretch this group out a little bit. Dirty bandage, huh? Well, oh, that's gonna have to wait. Can't deal with that right now. Not now, game. Busy. Come around the corner. Get a couple of them stuck on the doors. Got magnetized. Oh, looks like they broke it. That's different. Usually you can get them pretty well stuck on windows and doors. I don't like this. I'm going to switch to my baseball bat. Four is a little rough with... Uh, with something like the frying pan. Is it just you left? Oh, it's just you. Alright. Deal with our hand here. Really? The infection's cleared up already? Let's infect bandage. Anything in? Nobody has anything good? No? Alright. Go check on our burners. I guess I'll just lead them into the... It's, uh, it's getting late already. <laughs> she slept most of the day away. But I guess we'll go check on things, see how they're going. Just the two of you? Is that all that's left? In the immediate vicinity. All 
There we go. Let's go see if we can get into that one house that I desperately want to get into. The answer is no, because there's a big pile of zombies around it again. I don't know what is up with this. They just will not stop coming. I guess it's because I haven't been in the in the cells um, on the far side of it, so they just keep spawning and coming this direction. It's the only thing I can think. I don't know. Maybe I can get into this house. I want to get somewhere. It's been a long time since we've effectively managed to actually go anywhere. I hear a lot of zombies around me. A lot of zombies in there. Alright, let's play some... Let's, let's do it. Let's play a game, shall we? It's called Zombie Leading. Hey guys, come on. Everybody come to the fire fire department. I'm gonna try to get as many of them to catch on fire as I can. I really wish I could get them at least thin things out enough that we could actually do something, but it seems like everywhere we go it's just it's just zombies. Everywhere. And you think you got you think you're making a difference in the amount, and then nope. Alright, let's get the burning ones to come with me. Come on, fire zombies. I need you. Oh, that was close. That yeah, was damn close. Alright, she's starting to get tired. I'm gonna try one last time to get the zombies away from this damn house. Oh, don't do this to me, computer. Not now. Oh, no. Frame rates are or tanking. Alright, let's pause the game here. Alright, okay. My frame rates are tanking. I might not have to deal with this. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty close to the end of a normal episode, so I'm going to stop here for today, and we'll start in dramatic fashion tomorrow. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, uh, leave me a like. Helps me out a great deal, and I'll see you guys back here later for some more Project Zomboid. Thanks so much.